Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how Chris Sanders is in talks to play Lilo and, well, to play Stitch again. Now, I'm, not, I'm in the camp where I'm not very excited for a Lilo and Stitch live action. I actually don't want a Lilo and Stitch live action. But, unfortunately we're getting it. Uh, I honestly would, like, if I had choose between watching Lilo and Stitch though, the live action on Lilo and Stitch and the Little Mermaid, I would choose Lilo and Stitch. Honestly. If I had to choose one to see, but let's read, shall we? Um, according to the Hollywood Report, Chris Sanders is in final talks to reprise the role of Stitch. Sanders also wrote and co-directed the original Lilo and Stitch, reprising his character in the Lilo and Stitch Disney Channel series. Sanders would join Tia Carey as Miss Keegan Koa, and Amy Hill as Tatu, who played Nani and Mrs. Haskoa, respectively, in the original film. Sydney Ogodun is playing Nani, and Kaki Dudarat is playing David. Mia Kilola is playing Lilo. Billy McNusom is has joined as Peakley. And Zach Gillifanakis is as Jumbo as Courtney B. Uh, fans as Cobra Bubbles. The movie seems insultingly unnecessary. No matter what they announce or who they cast, I don't think this concept will translate well to live action. And there is no reason to adapt this movie. It's going to be a Disney Plus original release, so I don't even see the financial incentive. It's hard to look at a project like this and see anything but hubris and corporate mandates. I haven't seen anyone happy about this particular remake, and I wonder if, if it was a general public non fans files I don't know how to pronounce that word, or almost ready to turn on them. See, for me, I'm not interested in the little, uh, like, Lilo and Stitch, The Little Mermaid. I still have, to this day, haven't seen Dumbo. If not more so open to see Dumbo than the other two, to be honest. And, but, the reason why I haven't seen Dumbo, not excited for The Little Mermaid, not excited for this. The only reason why I watched Pinocchio, the newer one, is because my father really wanted to watch it with me. But if it was for my father, I would not have watched Pinocchio. But the reasons why I'm not excited about these, like, newer adaptations of the Disney films, because they're like, so freaking many. And it's so unnecessary. Like, sir, I'm not saying don't adapt any Disney movies into live action. Because 1996 Pinocchio was great. I still to this day will back the 2016 uh, Jungle Book movie. I enjoyed the Jungle Book movie. But not every movie like with The Lion King, for example, will should be made. I don't think... I think The Little Mermaid, if they did things like... better than... I think I would have seen it. Ariel is black. I would like. I can see why people are upset because it's supposed to be the Little Mermaid from the animated movie, right? So like people kind of expect Ariel to be looking more like the character from the animated movie. Founder, um, um, Founder Sebastian. Uh, I don't know why I have a brain fart of the bird. But those three, they don't really resemble most of the, like, um, their counterparts. Sure, you can tell that it's Sebastian and Sme uh, not Smeagol. And the bird's a bird from the, uh, Little Mermaid, but, like, could have done better with them, especially with Flounder, who's white. Like, they kind of, like, didn't, like, make him yellow, like, how are you so used to, in, like, the Little Mermaid cartoon movie and movies and t TV show that was on this uh, Disney Channel, as well as Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts has taken 
the Disney properties that has been in like I guess like the 13th game, seven games that's been out at the moment, and honored each lore better than what Disney has been doing with like most of these live action uh, movies. Even Lion King, the Kingdom Hearts did a better job of the Lion King than Disney did with the 2019 film. Even though like, like the few times we saw Stitch in the Kingdom Hearts games, I like I am more excited to see, or I'll be more open to see Lilo and Stitch, and well, I guess at this point, Kingdom Hearts Four, than a live action Lilo and Stitch movie. Not every movie needs or should be in live action. Especially if we're trying to make like the creatures look as realistic as possible. When it comes to like the Lion King, I like if they ever do another remake of it uh, 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 after like the Mufasa movie. I want like if they ever do the Lion King again, make it more animated. Don't make it realistic. Make the characters' faces more animated. Make them look more like the '90s film. Because that's one thing I would have to say, if not dislike the movie for the most part, about the Pinocchio movie. That's one thing I have to say that's good about the Pinocchio movie. The Pinocchio in there, they actually made it him look like the Pinocchio animated movie. So I have to applause them, even though that movie was crap, but I had to applause them for doing that. I wish they did that with The Lion King, with like uh, the three animal friends of Ariel and The Little Mermaid. I'm not saying that they like. I'm not gonna say sit here and say, "Oh, the Lilo and Stitch movie is definitely gonna be bad." I'm not gonna say that because it could easily be, in my opinion, the best Disney live action movie since the Jungle Book. Since the Jungle Book, because the Jungle Book is my favorite live action movie, and every after that there hasn't been. A uh, Disney live action that came close, like has matched um, the Jungle Book. The um, Aladdin movie was the closest, then Beauty and the Beast, but none has reached to uh, um, the Jungle Book level, in my opinion. So I'm happy. Like if he comes back, I will be happy to see, like hear, like th Chris Sanders' voice. As this again, but kind of like with James Earl Jones as Mufasa. Sure, I'll be excited for like the original this actor to come back as this, but that won't get me that like, really that much more excited for the live action remake. My I'm still like really cautious about it, and I feel like a lot will be riding on how you make this look in live action. Because Stitch is a cute character. If you fuck that up, I doubt that there will be as many people being willing to watch the Lilo and Stitch live action. Me, person party included. Like, I was, I, I feel like I would be, like I said, just the beginning, I'll be more willing to see the Lilo and Stitch movie than I am to see, um... The Little Mermaid. To be fair, but still, I'm tired of Disney have feeling the need to like remake all their classics live action. They even like are announced that they're gonna do a uh, um, Moana into live action. That movie came out in 2016. Too soon. Too soon. I think if they're going, they were, if they were planning to make a Moana movie, they should have it. Say they should announce it. In 2026, the soonest. It's seven years old. It's too soon to announce Moana live action. But that's just me. But, um... Am I happy that Chris Sanders is going to be Stitch again? Sure. Am I... Ex Does that make me more excited for the movie? No. Honestly, no. I'm tired... Like I said, I'm tired of all these Disney remakes. Um, 
I'm just tired. Anyways, what do you beautiful people have to say about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And I will talk to you a few little minutes later.